here in the problem uh, a cone of diameter 55 mm and uh, height 75 mm given and it is resting with respect to base on hp so it is cut by a section plane here at an angle of 45 degree to the axis and it is occurring at a distance of 40 mm from the apex so we need to draw the development of this truncated cone so first we draw an x y line we draw an x y line here and we take uh, compass and measure 27.5 so diameter uh, 55 means so we will consider the radius of 27.5 and we will draw and circle here okay draw and circle so diameter it is uh, 55 so that means we need to consider the radius of 27.5 here okay so 27.5 we should consider not 55 so you take a 27.5 from the scale and construct the circle okay so now <clears throat> you can show the dimension on one side okay so after showing the dimension we were going to construct we are going to divide the circle into eight equal parts okay so with the help of the scale we can divide the circle into eight equal parts here okay so i'll be marking for an angle 45 degree and 45 degree on either side so 45 degree here and here 135 degree okay so then I will extend these uh, lines okay okay can mention the naming a b c d e f g h okay now project the lines here so project the lines on the x y line okay so you need to draw an axis for a height of 75 mm okay so draw an axis for 75 mm so here the front view of the cone it is a triangle so the inside lines you can show with the thin lines here so these are generators can mention the namings so from the front view which are the faces are visible you can write without brackets the things which are not visible we are going to write within bracket okay so we can mention the axis here the axis height is 75 Okay, so we should uh, consider a section plane in the axis okay at an angle of 45 degree exactly the so apex from the apex we should consider so that is at a distance of 40 mm okay so now we can keep the protector there can show the dimension 40 mm from the apex okay so take the protractor and mark this reference point and uh, mark for an angle 45 degree mark for an angle 45 degree okay now <coughs> draw a, a line section plane 
passing through this angle point so cutting all these edges all these uh, generators you can see that okay now you can dark uh, you can uh, show the angle so after showing the angle you can uh, dark the the cutted portion okay you can dark this uh, cutted retained portion okay so you can dark this <coughs> okay you can dark it i can mention the naming now here one two three where the actually cutting is occur okay six seven eight okay so now we can see we need to show the true length so true length we are having at the one end and the same true length we have shaped, taken okay now we will be constructing an arc here okay we'll be constructing an arc here okay you can measure the distance from a b so you can measure any one of this length and you can cut the arcs so each of these lengths for same you can measure any one of it and you can cut it okay so it's all drawn with the two length of line you can see that all those marking one two three four all those things are, are projected on that true lens okay from there we need to measure the length okay you can mention the namings here a b c d e f g h and that is a cut and extend okay so now we can just extend that uh, the curve so that it is cutting the arc okay now you can join all this with the vertical edge okay so now we need to measure the length okay that is uh, one two three all those i will be projecting on the true length so all these points so that it is easy for us to measure the length and cut the arc on this okay so i will be measuring uh, point number one so it has to be measured on the true length so remember it so we need to cut it on the a point here so on the a it will be the one one In the same way we need to measure two and eight here so 2 i will be cutting on the vertical line b and 8 i will be cutting on the h okay in the same way i will be cutting that 3 and okay in the same way all the lengths were i am measuring it 4 and 6 4 and 6 also i am going to measure okay now we have left with the point number 5 so we're going to cut it so you can mention the name and numbers here so that is one and here also one okay so you can mention the namings so that is three and seven four and six okay that is five so now we have to join all this so here exactly you can use a scale or uh, using a curve you can join this because it is a cone here you can use the curve here to join these all these points you can join with the curve here okay so now you dark that retained uh, truncated portion so we need to dark this okay can take the compass and uh, dark that lower portion here okay, 
and all that so that completes the problem